Adele Beckham Jr. feels like he has been treated like a zoo animal. Stay tuned for all the details right after this. Hey, Fumble fans, thanks so much for tuning in. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and join the notification squad for updates on all the latest. I am your host, Britt Johnson. You can follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. Adele Beckham Jr. just signed the biggest wide receiver contract in NFL history after agreeing to a $95 million five-year extension with the New York Giants. The deal included a $20 million signing bonus and $65 million guaranteed. The contract is a major tax bracket up from his previous rookie contract worth $10 million over four years. With this new signing, Odell is already set to make more than three of the highest paid receivers of all time. Steve Smith, Randy Moss, and Andre Johnson all made less than $106 million during their whole entire career playing. But Odell still has some work to do before he reaches Larry Fitzgerald, who currently holds the title of the highest paid receiver of all time. Larry Fitz has been playing in the NFL since 2004, and at the age of 34 years old, doesn't seem to be aging much on the field. Last season, Fitz had 109 receptions for 1,156 yards and six touchdowns. He currently leads the way for receivers making the most money on his NFL contracts totaling at $151 million and counting. If Odell keeps catching balls like he does and staying healthy, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before he tops the list as the highest paid receiver of all time. He told ESPN this after sealing the deal, now that it's behind me and there are no worries, it feels like a weight lifted off my shoulders. He may be excited to have this weight lifted off his shoulders so he can get back to playing his first love, which is football, but that doesn't change the fact of how he feels he's been treated on the gridiron while playing the game he loves oh so much. Odell appeared as a guest on LeBron James' new show, The Shop, which airs on HBO. The show is based in a barbershop and has guys sitting around talking about life, oh yeah, and drinking red wine out of wine glasses. Fancy barbershop, huh? Check this out. I tell people this all the time. I really feel like a zoo him. Like that's where life's gone for me. Like I got people who call, oh damn, dance. Like like I'm a like I'm a, a, a show punk, a show monkey or something. Like I'm a puppet. You know what I mean? Well, I guess fame and fortune isn't always all it's cracked up to be. That is probably one of the saddest stories I've heard though today. But you aren't really treated like a zoo animal. At least you aren't stuck in the little prison area your whole life. You get to travel the world and you get to do it in style due to that new contract you signed, Odell. So although you may have the right to complain sometimes, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would switch their situation for yours any day of the week. So count your blessings because, dear sir, you are blessed. The conversation began when LeBron James started explaining the difference he feels from black and white athletes saying this. I'm talking about the phone is out. He's like, yo, that phone in my face. I'm with my family. And if Aaron Rodgers, one of those guys, say that shit and they post it, somebody's going to be like, hey, you guys, should be, you guys should respect Aaron Rodgers. Do you guys think LeBron is correct about this double standard in pro sports? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, for the Fumble, and I'll see ya real soon.